So Megan Anderson says her reason for not fighting Chris Cyborg is none of your dang business. She said it, y'all. She said it was none of your business. We got to talk about this one. Amazing Eric Sports, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> What's up, sports fans? It's your boy, Eric, and you are tuned into another episode of the Amazing Eric Sports Show. That's right, the Amazing Eric Sports Show. Brand new sports show here. So you guys hit the like button, comment, subscribe, join up. Let's do this together. Okay, when it comes to this fight, Chris Cyborg versus Megan Anderson, I for one, and I don't know about you, but I for one am still very, very, very disappointed and saddened that this fight won't be taking place. I was looking forward to this, and I was one of the people that was possibly leaning toward the upset here. That's right. I'm a Megan Anderson fan. I'll go ahead and tell you. Megan, if you're listening, I'm a fan. So, I really thought that Megan presented a puzzle the cyborg has possibly not faced yet. She was naturally bigger as far as the height goes. She had the length. This is a person who cyborg was going to move up and fight. This is not somebody who's putting on size to fight cyborg. A cyborg has to lose weight to get to her. Megan seems to be naturally the bigger woman here. And then what do we hear? Megan Anderson pulls out of the fight for unknown, unspecified, at least to us, the general public, unspecified reasons. Uh, <laughs> that's what I felt y'all maybe you felt the same way maybe you feel my pain to be honest I still feel that I'm very disappointed because I for one was ready to see the upset I thought Megan had a very legitimate chance of pulling this upset off with the way they fought if she could keep Cyborg at length if she could keep her at bay which is a tall task but I thought maybe with her size and strength she had a chance to do it maybe she still will but let's get into something that I just heard today. So as I'm going through my timeline today, looking at the channels that I subscribe to, I run across a video from one of my favorite channels, CHS Comeback Sports. Shout out to you, coach. How are they going to explain this? How are they going to explain that? Anyway, shout out to coach. I see a video there and I hear this interview with Megan. Well, it seems to be Megan on the interview and she's saying that the reason she pulled out of the fight is nobody's business. And it's a lot of different ways to look at that. And this is a question. You know, I like to post questions for you guys. I like to ask you guys questions because I like to get feedback. So I'm going to need some help with this. Let's look at the pros and cons of what that means. Let's look at the positive and the negative side of what she said. Now, the first thing that you can say is, I guess another human being has a right to say I'm dealing with something personal and it's none of your business. I don't want to share my personal business with you. Just because you're a superstar athlete, do you have to forfeit that right? Of course you don't. There's a right that every human being has to know. If they're going through something personal, they should be able to say, this is my business and I don't want you to know. And I can respect that. I really can. I can respect that. I can respect the person saying, I don't want to share my private personal business. I don't want to share mine with you guys. I really don't want to hear about yours. I'm sure you guys don't want to share yours with me. So we do owe her respect if she says, this is my personal business. This is my barrier. I'm not going to share beyond this barrier. Okay, we can respect that. And also we can say, well wishes to you because we want to see her come back. We want to see if it's something personal. So we want to see her healthy. It doesn't have to be an injury, spiritually, mentally, whatever the case. Hey, prayers up, well wishes. We hope everything goes okay because we want to see you back in the octagon very soon. Now, this part could seem like the more negative side to what she said in that interview. Now, as a Megan fan, if you're a big time Megan fan, if you're a big time Megan supporter, I don't want you to get mad. I don't want you to get offended. I actually am going to pose a few questions that I respectfully pose questions that I'd like you to hit the comment section and actually answer for me because I didn't just say those positive things because I felt like I had to say them. They were in no ways meant to be obligatory statements. I actually meant those things because those are true. Now, here's, here's the first question. Is there somewhere in between Megan saying, it's nobody's business why I pull out. I don't, I don't want to answer your questions. And her saying, her actually sharing her personal business. Is there a place in between maybe that she could go that would help with this? That would maybe give the public a little bit more of an answer? Maybe satisfy the disappointment just a little bit more? And here's what I think could possibly be happening. Now, Megan could possibly be too caught up in her trolls. Meaning, there are always going to be people that come on social media. Whether it be Instagram, whether it be Twitter, whether it be YouTube coming to comment section and just say the worst of the worst of the most vile of the most disrespectful stuff she's getting a lot of that and i'm sure that's very frustrating for her but what i would like for megan to focus on and even you as the fan to focus on is that megan genuinely has people like me i would say and probably like coach sheldon harrison too that were genuinely disappointed because we wanted to see the fight 
fans that were going to pay their money for the pay-per-view that wanted to see the fight. Now, these fans of yours are your fans now and hopefully will continue to be your fans. Maybe it's something else you can say to them that's not just, it's not your business. It's not your business. So if Megan is listening to this or somebody listens to this, maybe there's a place in between the two where she doesn't have to tell us her personal business, but she can maybe give a hint or say something that would just seem a little bit more acceptable. And then it could possibly get us excited. We could be like, okay, okay, I feel you, Megan. We're just ready for you to come back so you can fight Simon. Now, the second and final question is about Megan's comments on the Clarissa Shields sparring footage that came out. Megan is saying stuff like, you know, now after seeing the sparring footage with Cyborg and Clarissa, I feel even more confident. I see holes now that I can exploit. I feel even more excited about that. I understand that she's answering trolls again right there, but do you think it's a good look for her to say that? That's the question. Respectfully asking, do you think it's a good look? Because when she says that, is she taking into consideration that she was sparring, that Cyborg rather, was sparring uh, not just a gold medalist, but a two-time back-to-back repeat Olympic gold medalist in Clarissa Shields, probably one of the top two to three female boxers in the game right now. Cyborg wasn't just sparring anybody. She was sparring the top of the top and she was actually holding her own. So do you think that's a good look or would you rather just see Megan say, well, when all this is taken care of, I'm gonna come back and make things right. Okay guys, I'm not holding up the video any longer. Just wanted to say again, in no way was any of this meant to be disrespectful at all to Megan Anderson. Super talented, can't wait to have her back in the octagon. Get better soon. Amazing Eric, y'all. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Peace.